I'm David Irwin. Join Tyler Ford for our Country for Our Country concert weekend. We'll hear great music and raise money for our local combat veterans. Prize stories of the high school football season so far. The Hallsville Bobcats and their impressive 4-1 start to the season. Tomorrow is the Cats' bye week, so they get to watch everybody else play. And with more on Hallsville, let's go live to our Longview Bureau where Emily Gagnon joins us. Emily, I think the Bobcats are looking for a district title this year, aren't they? Eric, we're talking two teams tonight, the 4-1 Hallsville Bobcats and the 4-1 White Oak Roughnecks. They both have the same record, and their only losses so far have come against teams that are undefeated after five weeks of football. Hallsville got beat by White House in week zero of the season, but the team hasn't lost since. The Bobcats are off Friday with an open week. They get two weeks to prepare for district play, where they'll begin with Marshall, their biggest rival. Head coach David Plank says the passing game is to blame for the hot start. Quarterback Austin Tony agrees, saying he has plenty of time to drop back and throw. They both give credit to the offensive line, which includes three sophomores. They hope to keep the momentum going against a winless Mavericks team. The 4-1 and start is awesome. It's better than it's been lately. And I've been on varsity for three years now, and it's the best we've started out. Of course, we lost the first game, but... We're on a current, we're on a four win win streak. Marshall's a big game for us coming up. It's a, it's been a rivalry for ours for a long time. Uh, last year we beat them, I think, for the second time in the history of, of our school and our program. You know, it's a rivalry game. You know, played them last year and it was a great, you know, pretty good game. Came down to a field goal, passing the ball. It's not just all straight running game, which. It's been like that sort of seems like in the past when we were able to pass it a lot better. But our defense, I thought we we're playing, you know, lights out too. White Oak is also in its open week. The Roughnecks won't see action until district play begins next Friday. They start with Tatum, one of the top 2A teams in the state, but the competition remains fierce as they'll face Harmony the following week, then undefeated Troop. The next day, they enter district confident after losing to only one team so far, and that was Bullard. If you take a look at their four wins combined, they're by a total of five points. I mean, we easily could have been one and four. I think the biggest determining factor in those wins was one. One, stay together as a team. Two, we stay pretty resilient and determined throughout those four quarters of each of those games. Getting off to a 4-1 start, I think, gives us a bunch of confidence going into the game against Tatum. It gives us a factor that we haven't had the last couple of years. I think it's good to keep the momentum going, and uh, I just hope that we come out. And uh, pre-district doesn't really matter when district comes. We learned that anything can happen. Spring Hill, we were down by seven points with a minute 20 left, and was at 80 yards to go, and we came back and won. Eric, White Oak's next three opponents have a combined two losses amongst all of them, so it's going to be a tough journey from here on out. Back right. to you in the studio. All right, thank you, Emily. Good job. Uh, both teams 4-0. and 4-1, and rather. Good starts there. And don't forget the big one tomorrow will be live. Emily will be there at Panther Stadium as Kilgore and Board go at it. They're both undefeated so far this year. I can't wait to see what the crowd will be like over in Board tomorrow night.